Hello guys, welcome to another FU Money. I would like to just say a few words about uh, the last episode, uh, number 24. This was the first live stream of the show. Uh, it went very well, by the way. This was like a test live stream just to see if everything went fine. Uh, however, I, I was not expecting uh, to have just one mistake, which was the sound at the beginning. So I guess the outcome was very positive. And I'm planning to uh, start doing uh, more live streams, probably even the ones uh, intra-week. So the videos you are used to see every day, probably I will start doing them uh, also as a live stream and informing everyone before on Twitter so that you are able to watch live or if you can't, we can, uh, you can just uh, go to my channel on YouTube and watch the live stream after it was recorded. So it was very positive. I really enjoyed the interaction with all of you guys there. I was not expecting so many people and this was uh, very um, unexpected to me. Uh, uh, so basically, um, I think there were about 60, uh, 60 or 70 people on the peak watching uh, simultaneously, but the live stream has already more than 200 views and is still increasing. So uh, that was a very good experience and I will do it again for sure. Okay, so today I will start, let me go to screen share. Today I just want to start with uh, a tweet I published this morning. Uh, this was a nice surprise to me because uh, I uh, usually watch The Simpsons. I like the series, it's uh, very funny. And uh, finally, today, while I was watching the uh, episode 18 of season 32, which is the last one, just premiered a few hours ago, I noticed that uh, one of the scenes when this guy is talking about uh, financial stuff, there's these uh, tickers uh, going around here on, on the bottom, and one of them is precisely Bitcoin and the... Uh, you know, the usual number they have on the side of that stock or ticker or whatever uh, they are announcing is a percentage uh, going up or down. But in this case, it was really funny to see Bitcoin here going to the um, um, infinity. So basically, there is no price or percentage going up. It's uh, the infinity here on the right on the green. So I just published this Twitter. It was really funny. And I tagged a few people also. And it has been um, a lot of people is retweeting this and liking this tweet. Uh, so if you watch The Simpsons, just um, be attentive of this scene here when this guy is talking about finance and you will see Bitcoin here. And then also the other ones are really funny. Uh, the GME stock uh, plus one trillion. And then just after that, uh, once less than a second, it's GME minus two trillion. So it's really funny. Also Fox, where uh, I think uh, the Simpsons uh, go live uh, on TV, minus 19. And after that, there's also Tesla. And you should watch the episode to see what Tesla brings you on this um, thing going around here on the screen. Uh, okay, so that was really funny. Let's just go quickly to the charts. And we will start with the price to time model. Let's see how we are doing here. So we are still below the exponential curved line this week. Uh, last week it was, uh, this is also something I want to share with you guys because this is a very, very positive sign. Um, last week was the highest weekly close on Bitcoin's history. Uh, this was really, really close to 60,000. I would really love to see 60,000 as the, or above, as the weekly close for the last candle, candle, but that wasn't possible. We just uh, closed uh, shy of 60,000 at 59,975 dollars, so just 25 below the 60,000 mark that I would have loved to see, but that wasn't possible. No big problem, just $25 difference is almost the same as 60,000. So uh, the week is starting a bit on the red. We are going a bit down. So we had this peak 
and luckily the close above the 59 as i've been calling for a long time uh, and now we have this week starting on the red we probably could see some kind of uh, small correction here and before going to new highs okay so that's it for the price to time model let's go to the mri and we can go to the weekly <coughs> sorry so this chart continues to be very very bullish i have uh, uh, spotted something here on the four hour chart which i will talk to you guys about it later but for now this is a configuration that i still like i am still bullish i believe this breakout of the triangle will continue even if we have some difficulties uh, due to the bitmax funding rate but i believe this will continue um and in the long term i'm also very bullish as you guys know because of the price to time model so i see the divergence is now starting to uh disappear slowly because the rsi is going sideways just a bit up so we are just turning a bit up here on the rsi uh, the tip is going sideways but we were going up just this bit here so i guess this divergence will slowly disappear in time and everything will be okay regarding this uh, that we have been talking about for the last few weeks the macd is still uh, the two lines are still closer than before uh, however they are going just sideways there's no really um, important weekly price action that can um, make any major difference uh, from for the macd and the fissure distance from the ema is neutral so nothing to say about that let's go to the daily okay so in the daily as you guys see here we have now uh, after the breakout of the triangle which led to the highest weekly close on bitcoins history we have now on this candle a buy signal so we have the green star that is a very positive uh, um, sign also and although the volume continues to go down so let's see where this takes us but so far so good we have been able to sustain slowly but steadily we have been able to sustain this going uh, this price action going to the upside the rsi on the daily is neutral the macd completely neutral as you can see the macd is just going sideways the two lines are not uh, distantiating from each other uh, and this is what has been keeping bitcoin uh, from going up um, faster than we have uh, seen so far so i believe the bitmax funding rate is delaying this uh, breakout let's see how this evolves uh, going to the four hour chart this is what i spotted this morning and i wanted to show you guys of course this is not confirmed yet but i would like just to show something that it seems to me as a cup and handle on the four hour i already discussed it on twitter with some people and of course uh, i also don't really believe uh, or don't uh, think it's so much relevant to find the pattern on a four hour chart however it has been nice to identify this it it's not confirmed yet because for this cup and handle to be confirmed this uh downtrend here now has to go up again uh probably have a new breakout here above the previous breakout which is where this candle closed uh around the let me check here i have to zoom out so this candle close was around uh, 60,600 and probably if this now returns back up and we have a breakout from the 6600 then you might expect an up upside price action of or 59 and here it's uh, 6600 so we are talking about almost two thousand dollars to the upside if this confirms as a cup and handle 
So let's see, as I said, I don't think patterns on four hour charts are so relevant as for example, on weekly charts or daily charts, but I was just looking at the chart and it, it, you know, it looked like a nice cup and handle here. So let's see how this evolves it if, if really becomes a cup and handle or not. But as you guys can see, the 20 period moving average on the four hour is being able to support the price action. We had already two spikes to the downside but this here in this area another spike here where the price held because of the 20 period moving average and the support zone around this area so let's see how this evolves and if the cup and handle uh, confirms i will get back to you guys on this uh, the rsi is getting a bit uh, bearish here uh, because of this um, downwards price action but it has been for a short period and now it's going back up again uh, the BitMEX funding rate was um, above my threshold of 0.11%. That is also one of the reasons probably we had this small retracement for the last two candles. But uh, now we are below the 0.11% threshold again. And if the BitMEX funding rate continues to decline a bit, I believe that in the next candle we can start to see some upwards action. So let's see how that evolves. Let's just check quickly the one hour chart so that you guys can see the BitMEX funding rate. So we were below just a few hours ago, we were below the 0 0.11. We are now exactly on the 0 0.11 again, as you guys see here, but just a bit above, but this is nothing. And if we uh, are able to reduce this BitMEX funding rate, I believe that the next candles will be to the upside. So, Let's leave it on the four hour. I want to, um, you know, just follow this situation and see what happens. But I'm very happy that as I've been calling also in the last few days and on, uh, on the videos and also on Twitter, you know that I've been calling for this breakout. And now we just did what I also said that we could retrace back to the top of the triangle and start uh, at the minimum, at least ranging here above the triangle and then wait for a new breakout. So let's see how this goes. Okay, quickly to the pro indicators strategy here. So we are inside the trend channel. We are not touching the upside or the downside of that channel. The context resistance is a bit uh, higher than, uh, so we have a big distance yet to fulfill on the chart just before getting to the big resistance. But I believe that in the next move up, Bitcoin would be able to trade inside the resistance context here on gray. Let me just zoom in a bit for you guys to see better. So this is the resistance context. And I believe that the next move up of Bitcoin could put us exactly inside that resistance context. And that is around 65,000. So that would be a nice improvement for the price action. And I expect it to go there. Let's see how this evolves too. Um, the support context is also going up. As you know, the new week started uh, at 1 a.m. Uh, Portuguese time. So we are still in the first 24 hours of the new week. And the context is already going up again, as you see here. So the new context started above the previous context. So that's also uh, not as strong as it might seem, but it's also a good sign. The momentum and the sine wave are, so the sine wave is going down. I'm expecting it to return back up really shortly. So it will probably go down to this line here as before. And then in just a short time, probably a few candles, we are going back up to the upside, which could correspond to the next breakout if we are able to maintain this position for the price action as we are right now. Okay, so that is it for the today's update this will be a shorter video and that's good because i don't want these videos to be so long it's a pain in the ass to upload them to youtube as you guys know uh, so let's see how all this situation evolves um, i i will be talking to you guys let me just uh, stop the screen share I will be talking to you guys about the next live stream. I expect to have more live streams um, or more often 
to be on a live stream than than I'm just uh, doing now. So uh, probably I'm going to slowly change from recorded videos to live streams, and then people can can watch them. If they are not able to watch them live, they can watch them later. Uh, so that's the situation for today regarding Bitcoin's price action. All the analysis I did uh, here uh, for you guys. Uh, if you enjoyed the content, please uh, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new and share it with your friends. Let's grow the community and help the channel to grow also at the same time. And I will be with you guys on the next one for more price action on Bitcoin. Bye bye.